In this video, we will do an exam review of the Borhaf syndrome. First, a few important exam questions, and then we'll do get the answers after the topic. So, question number one is: What's the site of rupture in Borhaf syndrome? Number two: What are the most common causes of Borhaf syndrome? Number three: What's Hammond's sign? And number four: What are the X-ray chest features in Borhaf syndrome? Now, let's do esophageal rupture or Borhaf syndrome. Borhaf syndrome is a full thickness tear or rupture secondary to extreme retching and vomiting that occur in more than 90% of cases in the lower one third of the esophagus in the left posterior lateral distal esophagus. So it's a rupture of the esophagus in the lower one third, most commonly in the left posterior lateral esophagus. It occurs due to raised intraesophageal pressure plus a negative intrathoracic pressure plus violent vomiting that leads to rupture leading to pneumomediastinum adjacent to heart and aorta causes of Borhaf syndrome most commonly it occurs in alcoholic 50% of the patients have gastroesophageal reflex disease and more than 50% of the cases occur due to endoscopy or esophagoscopy so maybe iatrogenic because of endoscopy or esophagoscopy but most commonly it occurs in alcoholics or people with gastroesophageal reflex disorders the other causes may also include foreign bodies corrosives sodium hydroxide sulfuric acid and alkalis cause fibrosis and scarring of the esophagus now clinical features of Borhaf syndrome it causes severe chest pain resembling myocardial infarction that is worsened by neck flexion swallowing and breathing what's macular triad macular triad includes the classical features of Borhaf syndrome but is present only in less than 20% of patients Mac and it includes lower chest pain vomiting and subcutaneous emphysema air in the subcutaneous tissues there is rapid development of the sepsis in this condition what's ham and sign on examination there are mediastinal crunches in the Borhaf syndrome that is known as ham and sign amongst the investigations x-ray chest shows pneumomediastinum and left pleural effusion hydropneumothorax so there is a pleural effusion of the left lower lobe and pneumomediastinum esophagram shows extravasation of the contrast material see here extraluminal contrast in this x-ray so one more extraluminal contrast CT chest with oral contrast to identify perforation and the oral contrast material is gastrographin which is a water soluble contrast agent now and Answers to the question. Question number one What's the site of rupture in Borhaf syndrome? Lower one third of the esophagus in the left posterior lateral region. Question number two What are the most common causes of Borhaf syndrome? Answer As I already discussed, most commonly it occurs in alcoholic and 50% of the patient with GERD gastroesophageal reflex disease and may be iatrogenic in more than 50% of cases due to endoscopy or esophagoscopy. Question number three, what's ham and sign? The answer is on examination there is mediastinal crunch that is known as ham and sign. And question number four, what are the X-ray features in the Borhaf syndrome as already explained earlier, pneumomediastinum and left pleural effusion, hydropneumothorax.